Hello everybody, this is Scott and today we will be reviewing another program which is IOBit Malware Fighter. This is a program that I've never officially addressed but I have thought about doing a review and I need to figure out why this thing keeps cutting out. Uh, I thought about doing a review for it but now I actually feel that it's kind of necessary to do so. So we will actually, we're going to be addressing all the issues and we're going to have it do a quick update from its uh, network and try to download the latest fingerprints. I already know about everything I need to know for this, but because I was going to do a re review for it yesterday, and yesterday then I'm like, no. So here we go. We're going to go to the protect section and I'm going to put you on the most secure settings. Uh, it wants you to enter a license. I'm not going to deal with that right now, but these are the most secure settings that you can have right now. And you got your startup guard, this will scan startup items or items that are trying to change the startup. Browser guard will protect your browser from like, oh, browsers, protect browser settings from malicious modification. It will basically protect your browser from becoming less secure by malware. Cookie guard will protect, malicious, protect you from malicious cookies. This is file guard. It will protect you from. This is basically your file, like your system files. I don't know how you would say it, but this is the important files on your system that will actually contain malware. And network guard will monitor, will block web pages and monitor inbound connections that are possibly malicious from your network. All right. It says I have threat files. No. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense because it's it, it says I have community statistics since I got 3% of malicious threat files I don't know what that even means it doesn't give me any information that's a that's a ding right there for points this tabs almost useless let's see if it's got the proper settings okay no okay Okay, 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 and we, we're not doing that. All right, that was the most secure settings right there. Uh, you always wanted to scan it more than just the executables. And the program is just too simple. It's so clean and the program itself is just wonderful. You got all your basic things right here. I mean your layout, you got your protection settings, we've already been here, we've fixed everything you got your update, come here and you click on the update button action center, so warn you of anything that it deems unsafe or wants you to reinstall their own software it's gonna have and then this tab is your settings, your quarantine this tab is just useless though what, what does it mean I have these threat files or is this the files that com that the community's uploaded there or is this a file that are on my computer that's already somehow analyzed without me scanning it doesn't make sense to me so I don't know all I know is that it's really stupid my internet's been cutting out ever since the stupid rain has started everything's been going whack all right, so we're just going to ignore that for now, and we'll have to do a smart scan. The program has a couple issues, and I'm going to say this right now. PC Mag, I do not like PC Mag. Why do I not like PC Mag? I love the concept. I love the type of site. I love a good chunk of their articles, but I hate a lot of their reviews because they're either incredibly biased or the person doing them has like no concept of what they're actually doing the program hat does stop malware it's been proven if I were to do tests but this isn't a virtual machine if I was to do tests I, I there have been tests that have done by independent users such as you and me would be addressing any of the audience right now uh, they have found that it does protect against malware they said hasn't caught anything gave it a bad name um, who's another one that really annoys me? Some CNET. Oh my God, 
CNET is incredibly biased, and you'll find this with a lot of sites. When you throw too much opinion, when your articles become opinionated, which means there's so much opinion, your article is based off of more opinion than actual fact. So you'll get sites like them that are big, and then they got that, oh, I'm bigger than you, therefore I know what I'm talking about mentality. And when they start throwing in a lot of their own ideas, their own thoughts, they start to cloud the actual judgment, and then everything goes down because they don't really know what they're doing. Their writers, and as far as that PC Mag review where I got a point five. A point, point five stars. I'm sorry, but that's just crap. I, it, they also did the same thing to Spybot Search and Destroy. Spybot does protect against malware, and now that it has the Bitdefender engine built in, um, it's doing a lot better. But when you get companies that are such high profile, and you get one that doesn't know what they're doing, and then blames the product, is generally the one that slanders their name and ruins it. I have always tried to when I do when I do reviews to you guys right now, I'm just speaking since the smart scan's going, and then I'm going to elaborate a little bit deeper on the product after this. I've always tried to keep my opinions out of it or until the very end. Why do I do this? I want to give you all the facts first. I mean, logic would tell me why do I want to throw everything that they don't care for? Yeah, my opinion matters. If I don't like it, then you're gonna say, oh well. If he doesn't like this about it, then I'm going to say, do I like that a feature? It's meant to give you to question your own opinion. But when I start hammering and I, say, and I throw a bunch of opinions at you, and I say, it sucks, it doesn't do as much as I thought it would, and I throw all this out, that's wrong. It also is wrong when I try to say, oh, I don't like these features. I wish it had this feature, and then I take away points. No, that's asinine. Why would I take away points for something that it doesn't have? I can't. It'd be like it'd be like me as a t if I was a teacher and I was grading an essay, and I said, "Oh, didn't have six paragraphs, only had five, and I only did, and I didn't tell you you had to have six paragraphs. I just said, write me a well thought out essay. If I sorry, a well thought out story. You would have been like, all right, I'm gonna do it in five five paragraph essay format. I'll do it like that. I can't take away points because I didn't tell you not to do it. That's asinine." So then you get companies like this that don't know what they're talking about, they slander the name of products, and it annoys me. So, as far as PC Mac goes, yeah, professional, high profile, make a lot of money. Do they do it right? I doubt it. It's heavily opinionated. But because they have the money and the views to do so, they not like I could do anything. If you want honest reviews and well thought out, stick to smaller YouTubers. Smaller YouTubers or that are not part of large corporations are always more sentimental, in my opinion. And it's just how it's always been. It's because these large companies think they, they don't have the time for it, and they think they have power to decide a product's fate. And I hope that Malwarefighter is actually one of the larger programs on CNET. And because I'm annoyed with this, I'm just going to show you some quick things. This is the smart scan, blah, 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 blah. Done. Custom scan, always make sure when you want to do a full scan, click on memory, local, and critical. These will scan all the main air all the main areas. Unless you have disk partitions, keep your Windows sector out of it. If you know how to make one, I don't your Windows files will generally become rarely become infected unless you purposely tried to download something that was harmful. But I've never had an issue where my Windows files were ever invaded by malware. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the for another video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. And I feel like I'm getting a lot of hate from two of these companies afterwards. And I'm gonna say, test. Tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that I am wrong. That your uh, articles are not opinionated and are not abusing the power that you actually have. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye. I said good day, sir.